in the 17th century, if you wanted to build something, you had to go to the sawmill and you had to purchase dried wood that had been dried for a period of up to three to five years. And with that, then you would have to work the surface of the wood, take away the roughness left by the saw, and that was all done with hand planes. And at that point, you would have the equivalent of a board that you could buy at a lumber yard today. It did involve a fair amount of work because you had to use a series of planes to dress the surface. First was the jack plane used to remove the surface roughness of a piece of wood. The second plane was the triplane, and that was used to smooth the surface, produce the finished surface of the board. It left slight undulations, but it was very smooth and didn't need to be sanded. The joiner plane, which was used to straighten the edges of the board so that they were square and they would butt together tightly. And the final plane was a smooth plane, which was just used to touch up and smooth the surface and used for fitting boards together. When you come to Historic Deerfield and you visit the Dwight House, we have a workshop set up where we actually have people demonstrating how these planes were used to dress the wood and make moldings and other joints that were used in the uh, construction of the houses and architecture at Deerfield.